Hi there, it's Simone. I'm going to review the Pen Palette subscription box by Trufay. Trufay is a small company based in South Carolina and I have reached out to them um, to ask if they would be willing to send me one of their subscription boxes, specifically this, the Pen Palette box, to review and they were so kind enough to send it to me. So here is my review. Um, so in the pen palette subscription box, what you get every month is five four milliliter ink samples that are based on a theme. Um, it says on their website that they are the essentials from each of those themes and the themes are, for example, ba best fast drying inks. The first month that you subscribe, it comes with a glass dip pen, and that's exactly the subscription box that they sent me. The price for this box is $12.99, and the shipping is included. At least I tried for <laughs> uh, the USA, and it is not charging me any shipping if I wanted to subscribe. They do have three other subscription boxes that range in price from $25 to $150. And they um, include various different items that are all um, surrounding fountain pens and pen related things like, um, like a pen case or maybe a notebook. Stuff like that. But as I, as you know, I am currently very obsessed with inks and ink samples. I just asked to review the ink sample set because if I was going to subscribe, that was the thing that I would go for. So the basic info was that. Now I received their first rotation of in this set, so the first subscription box, and it included five work appropriate inks. They were Robert Oster Black Violet, Noodler's Shivago. This is the one. No, it's not. It's not the one that I'm um, testing right now. I'm reading it. I, I was trying to read it from the, the sticker that was on the paper, but I actually already messed it up. J. Urbain Bleu. De Profondeur, Noodlers, Chivago, J. Urban, Rouge Grenade, Monteverde, Midnight Black. So five work appropriate inks. Did I say Robert Oster Black Violet? Oh my gosh. I'm I should <laughs> be better at making reviews. I had watched two other two or three videos of on this palette. It was pretty hard to find any information besides what was on the website uh, to see what the inks in this subscription box would look like, if it was something that would speak to me or not. Uh, but I couldn't really find anything out there. There is one um, YouTube channel, The Productive Dragon, I think it's called, uh, but she subscribes to the Next Step Up box. However, I was told that the ink samples in each of the boxes do not vary. So if you subscribe to the pen palette box and one other box, you would get the exact same uh, ink samples in each of those. So I had watched those and they all included the same inks that I had received, uh, which was felt weird or off to me. I was wondering how that specific subscription actually works. So I reached back out to the company uh, to clarify how it works. And this is what they responded. The samples are themed in a sequence based on the number of months someone has been subscribed. So if you are subscribing in October, you will receive the exact same ink samples that I have received in my first box. So I also asked for more examples of um, themes. So work appropriate is one of them. Sheening inks, pearlescent, waterproof, inks for ordinary paper, 
all of those um, are themes that appear in this subscription. So let's talk a tiny bit about the inks that I received. Um, you saw that they were definitely work appropriate. Um, they were just plain regular inks. They don't look like they had a lot of um, shading properties or sheen. Well, it's also it's work appropriate. And since they also have a theme that is called sheening inks, I probably think they don't necessarily include um, these in the ink samples in other subscriptions, maybe. I don't know. I cannot judge. So the red violet was quite surprising on the Tomoe River paper. It looked like it had some chromo shading properties, but the question is if you, is that actually visible when you use it in a pen and um, just write with it instead of putting it in this humongous ink splotch, uh, swatch on, on paper. Um, so I am telling you the plus, the things that I see that are positive on this from this box is that you receive four milliliter samples. So it's not just two milliliters. You will not have the fear of using it. Four milliliters is a lot of ink and it will definitely last you um, multiple fillings in a fountain pen. You can make ink swatches, you can play with the ink without fearing that you might run out before you even fill your pen. So that's definitely a plus. I have not seen many companies um, sell four milliliter samples. So the only one that I know of currently is uh, Vanessa. When you purchase an ink sample from them, they are always four milliliters. And then this uh, ink pen palette box from Trufe. The price is fantastic since they do not m include any other gimmicks in their subscription. They can keep it fairly low uh, at $12.99. I checked on the Trufe site and if you purchased those same ink samples uh, separately, however they sell them, they sell five milliliter bottles instead or samples instead of four, it would bring you to about $15 and 20 cents. Uh, I also compared it to the Vanessa side where I know that they also sell four milliliter samples and that would bring you to about 12.65. However, they do not sell the J. Urban inks as samples. What you need to keep in mind though is that all of those original ink bottles, all of those inks are fairly priced fairly cheaply. Um, so they're not bottles that are more than um, 12 to $20. The Robert Oster at $17.50 on the True Face side is the most expensive ink on this in this sample set. Uh, for instance, a 30 milliliter of Monteverde Midnight Black ink uh, costs $7. So I'm not sure. You're definitely not getting a bargain deal, but you will receive five solid uh, four milliliter ink samples. Um, that brings me to the negative of this set. Um, the first thing is that all of those inks and also the themes are very basic. It's not super exciting. Um, it, you know, it's green, blue, red, black, done maybe maybe almost violet but not really uh so and a blue of course so that's discouraging for me to say oh yeah i want this subscription um and the other thing and that is even more something that i would be looking for in a subscription is the community aspect and by what by that i mean that when i am sus subscribed to a uh, subscription be it a sticker kit or a planner kit i've been subscribed to coco daisy for a long time part of that subscription was or the money that I spent on that subscription was not so much the items that were included, but also the community, the anticipation of the inks that you receive, the 
um, sharing and what's your favorite part of this? How do you like this? Um, how are we all going to use this? What for fountain pens, I would imagine, how do you swatch those? Um, what do you like best of, of the whole set? Which pen do you use it in? All of that, the, the reveal, um, like looking forward to, to this community event and sharing this, finding people that are like you, that like the same things, is big part of these subscription boxes and that is totally missing because you're not getting the same thing at the same time. Um, as I said, you would be getting this box next month. Um, and so I'm kind of alone in this subscription, if that makes sense. And that is definitely not what I'm looking for looking for in one of the in subscriptions if i am spending the money on on things that maybe i only like three of or not everything is to my taste then um that minus if you want to say that that the money that i lose because i buy something that i not necessarily would have bought on my own is made up for with that community so um Yes, that's a great offer. I would highly recommend this to someone who really enjoys very basic, very neutral inks. Um, for me, I think that this is not exactly what I'm looking for. I do have to say though, and, and you can see how I'm comparing the the ink swatches and you can see I don't really have any of those inks in my collection because I'm not someone who who likes the basic I guess I'm I'm extra um, the dip pen writes extremely smooth it's a very broad nib however it just glid over the paper super nicely uh, you saw me using it it's super bold you can read it's not necessarily the best representation of the ink in a pen but for sure it worked like a charm so i am going to end this video right here thank you so much to true fay um, for sending me those for review i greatly appreciate that have you heard of Trufe? Have you purchased from them before? Are you even subscribed to their boxes? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye!